Hey, what is up guys? So these are 20 of my personal favorite scripts and extensions that really help me speed up my workflow. I'm sure they'll help you too, so stick around till the end. First up is Ray Dynamic Texture. This lets me add texture onto layers with just one click. After which, all I need to do is just select the layers, change their blending modes, resize them to get the results that I want. The script already creates this pre-comp where you can drag in your textures and hit refresh. This lets you create your own library of textures which you can then apply to any of the layers. Next up is File Hunter. Now I've done a sloppy work of copying these files from my laptop and I just know all the assets are inside this folder called YouTube but in subfolders. Now I, I don't manually have to go in and select each of them. I just have to select this folder called YouTube and, and File Hunter is gonna go five subfolders to find all the missing assets. Auto Crop. Now I really love this plugin because I often end up pre-composing a lot and this pre-comp takes the size of the whole composition. So it's really hard to select any layers underneath and so what autocrop does is it crops this pre-comp into the size of its contents and this obviously saves a lot of time because otherwise we have to go into the pre-comp and change the comp settings we can also do this when we pre-compose animated layers for example but for this we can't use the same function because it cuts out the animated layers so we need to use crop duration which analyzes the pre-comp and crops based on what is moving inside this pre-comp with this script you can trigger animations based on the wavelength of an audio clip here i have a bunch of adjustment layers each masked out to represent the light on this png image and I've applied deep glow effect on them and I'm going to animate these deep glow effect based on the audio from this clip. So first let's create a noise profile and this bounding box will represent the waveform that we're using to trigger the animations. So let's just select this part here and click bake. Then all we need to do is select the property and click on react. We can just select one of these presets which they already have and you can see that uh, an expression has been applied. It's also adjust the intensity of the reaction and hit play. As you can see it works. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a bunch of other profiles and make the other adjustment layers react to the audio. And this is the final result. And the best part is we did this without even keyframing a single property. So next up is loop flow. Now I use the script whenever I need to create a stills to motion animation. Let's create a looping animation here of the coffee pouring into the cup. Now I'm just gonna create two masks here and loop flow is going to distort and loop any pixels that come between these two masks. So let's uh, select mask one and mask two and here's the result. Now let's also do the same thing here with the smoke. Again, uh, creating two masks, uh, duplicating the effect and selecting those masks. Now there are several other tweaks you need to make to get the perfect results, but you get the idea. Let's move on to the next one. Now labels is a really neat plugin that allows you to stay organized. You can quickly assign colors to your layers and it doesn't take up too much screen space. You can select labels of same color by controller command clicking the colors here. 
Now this plugin needs no introduction. It's been around for quite a while and it does almost everything that other plugins can do, but I like to stick with the simple things that this extension can do. You have everything from easing keyframes, centering anchor points, and lots of other tools. I also like to use a lot of other small features like you can quickly rename the comp here, you can set the duration of the comp, you can also change frame rates, there are actually a bunch of presets to choose from. I'm just gonna select 15 here and settings have been applied. Now it's playing back in 15 frame rates. You can also change the resolution of the comp, suppose you're making videos for a social you can create your own custom preset. These are really minor things, but they do save a lot of time. Also check out these other tools on the extension. My favorite one is the grab tool. This one is really useful when you have a bunch of duplicated layers and you need to select a particular property like the path property or a stroke width, for example. Here, let's select stroke width and select the other two duplicated layers and hit grab. If you keyframe the stroke width, you can see the other layers were also keyframed. So basically the grab tool selects the same property of all the other duplicated layers. Other tools like create new null, vignette based on the comp size are some of the tools I find useful. Now this script can help connect layers with lines and the best part about this script is the new dynamics feature. In the effects panel, you can find different modules on how to connect these layers. You can add dotted lines, but for now, let's choose curviness and let's change the function to dynamic vizier. I'm also going to add a few keyframes to the position of these layers and animate them. And once I do that, you can see how the dynamic effect comes into play. helps to separate text based on lines, words or characters. You just need to select this in the drop down and click apply. Over here in the timeline you can see additional layers were created for the separated words. We can also do this for characters. And now we can animate these individual letters. This is super useful and I use it a lot when I know I need to play around with text. With this script, you can easily offset animation of parented layers. For example here, I'm going to parent these three layers here to the first layer. And then I'm going to keyframe the position property of the parent layer. Let's also add some easing to this keyframe. Now we have an intro animation like this. Now let's say we want to offset the position animation of these three layers. Let's run our script and I have it docked here in the uh, k-bar tool which I'll talk about later but let's just run the script and now we have some controls here that affect the delay of these parented layers so as you can see the offset has been applied and now what we can do is we can even change the position of these layers without affecting the animation so that's pretty cool and this is actually a free script from an artist called John Colombo. I'll leave the download link in the description. Now we're down to the top 10 on my list of favorite scripts and extensions. And I'll be talking about these in a part 2 video, so definitely check that out. Also, if this video helped, please do leave a like and support the channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.